It's a very warm welcome indeed and good afternoon. We are on Tuesday. Great to be with you. It is the 18th of June and thank you very much indeed for calling through. We're already at Ascot to my private clients and my Ascot extravaganza. Two out of three bet winners. The first winner's just won at Charon. Job done. Seven to two. Backed in from four to one. And Asvora. Eight to one into five to one. Two out of three ain't bad, they say, and uh, good luck with all the rest of the bets to the private members on my Ascot extravaganza. Well, I've got two bets for you on uh, Wednesday, and uh, both fancy prices, and both have got pretty outstanding chances. The first one I'm going to give you runs at Hamilton Park in the 3.30. That's a 3.30 at Hamilton Park, and uh, that horse is number one. It's called Bohemian Breeze. Trained by Charlie Johnston and ridden by Andrew Mullen. Now this horse does have a very, very good chance, no doubt about it. Runs over one mile and three furlongs in a few yards. It's going to be a very strong pace at this race, run at Hamilton at breakneck speed. And that's going to suit this grey gelding down to the ground. He's only a four-year-old, still got plenty of improvement in it. Charlie Johnston, a cracking young trainer, inherited the stable, of course, from his father and mother. But he's making a bit of a name for himself. And this also got the cheek pieces on for the first time. Take note of that. I think you're going to see a much improved performance by Bohemian Grease, who ran really well last time. I'm out. But I thought Jason Hart probably did the tactics not quite right, went a little bit too soon on the horse. And I think there's no doubt about it, this horse who appreciates the strong pace on this race it's a free going individual and he's running away at times with the pilot but joe fanning's rode it three times jason hart's been on it andrew mullen's going to ride it tomorrow and i think the pace of this race being so fast is going to really be right up its street and it's a big each way bet for me each way number one bohemian breeze not got any prices out at the moment time of broadcasting around about 4 p.m on tuesday afternoon but i anticipate around about six or seven to one i can't see this horse being out the frame the way the race is going to be run tactically it's really going to suit it down to the ground forget about the run last time out when it was 12 for 14 at hamilton as i say the the tactics were overdone by jason hart uh, the, gra the, the pace of this race is going to be absolutely perfect, a lickety split pace, and uh, it, it, it's going to take a lot of beating, no doubt about it. Won three times this, last year, this horse is down to a winning mark now of 7-0 blind 70, actually won at 75 on the all-weather uh, back in November last year, and actually won off 70 at Kempton. So this horse can win off this, this this mark of 70, and won actually on the turf at Haydock in a much better contest than this, and uh, up was off a mark of 67. I think Bohemian Breeze has got everything in its favour, especially the pace, it's ready to win. Number one each way, Bohemian Breeze, it's the first bet of this brace of information for you uh, today. Great to have you on board, by the way. I hope you're keeping well. I couldn't give you my Ascot bets. I can't do that. They were sold individually to a lot of people for the extravaganza where they get all the races all the day, every day, uh, and it's as simple as that. Two out of three already in the net, and that's just great. Big race winners. Job done, including Asphora, which just won at 8-1. to one. And uh, looking forward to the rest of today and the next four days but as I say I can't bring you the Ascot bets on here that is closed and cannot be purchased absolutely not right the second bet of the two horses I've got for you uh, is an interesting type runs at Nottingham uh, in the Midlands at Colic Park and uh, there's a horse here trained by well it's trained uh, it's trained by um I'll get it right in a minute I can't hold on the place here it's trained by Michael Wiggum now, I tipped a horse of Michael Wiggum's the other day, and I said he's a difficult man to read. He's, he's harder to read than a dyslexic postman. And he is a hard man to read. He, wrote, he trained a horse called Intrinsic Bond, which come last, 16 of 16. Can't get it more wrong than that, but I did. 16 of 16. But when he says go, Michael Wiggum, it is go. And I'm hopeful, fingers crossed, everything's crossed, that tomorrow's the day. Because I think this horse is a winner waiting to happen. And it's thrown in off a mark of 58. The horse is number eight. It's called Adalabella. Adalabella. Ridden by Benoit de la Sayette. 
testing my pronunciations today. Number eight, Adela Baylor should be a big price this and could land a wholesale gamble. No question about that. It is ready to win. It's off a winning handicap mark. It's just a question. Is tomorrow the day? Is it? I don't know, but I'm on it because I tell you, if it's a goer and the button's pressed and gets great, you know, no traffic in running, clear run, I think Michael Wigan will train a big winner here. And more to point, will land a big touch. I'm all over it like a rash. When the Wigan stable punt it, they usually don't leave it behind. Number eight, Adela Bella. Adela Bella, Adela Bella. 8.20 at Nottingham. Well, there's two bets for you there. Bohemian Breeze, big chance that in the free third at Hamilton for Charlie Johnston, cracking young trainer. And Adela Bella in the 8.20 at Notts for the wily old fox himself, Michael Wiggum. Very, very astute. And when the money's on, they usually don't leave it behind. That's it. Two bets. Good luck with them both. They both win at Hamilton and Notts. Both got outstanding chances at big prices. I wish you the best of luck. Have a cracking day, whatever you're doing. Go get them. I'll see you tomorrow at around about 4.30.